Hey, it's Straw Hat Sam here. I've got a special guest, the Pigeon. We're gonna open it up and I'm gonna show you how I do my builds so you can use this as a guide for when you build your own Pigeon. All right, without taking it apart yet, um, I put little rubber pads on the top for the battery mount um, for testing without the cage because first you wanna test fly your Pigeon without having a valuable payload. Uh, another thing to point out is the way I do the motor wires is first I do a roll of uh, electrical tape and then over the top of that I do some uh, silicone self-sealing tape and what this does is it makes a nice rubbery finish and it doesn't become delaminated. Also I mounted my Immortal T's on the rear uh, right near the DJI antennas. I haven't had any issues with that. Um, but you may want to do that another way if you want. Uh, it just seems to be the most natural way to position it. Taking a closer look at the DJI antennas, these rear feet have little clips that the antenna seats into. And it's very sturdy. It doesn't even require an additional zip tie. Okay, I popped the lid off. And you can see the air unit is still attached to the main body uh, via this uh, cradle, this TPU cradle just running over the top. The regulators sit up front. After removing the air unit, underneath is the Crossfire Diversity Nano. And the way I mounted all three of these things, the capacitor, receiver, and the power wires, um, I kind of just used the uh, cross, the, the truss, in order to secure them down. And the capacitor has a little bit of uh, double-sided um, acrylic foam tape. I mean this stuff, it's just called mounting tape. And same with the receiver. And then the power plug has a little bit of this silicone self-fusing tape around it in order to protect it from shorting against the, the sharp edges of the carbon fiber. Up front here, uh, this lead, this is a JST PH 2.0 male, or actually female. And this is the 12 volt power source for the Naked Black Magic. It's coming from this 12 volt regulator here. I forgot which is which. Um, one of these is 9 volt, one of these is 12 volt. And this one's powering the DJI air unit, this one's powering the camera. The zip ties here are going through these dedicated zip tie slots that are integrated into the frame. Okay, I removed the flight controller, getting to the good stuff here. Uh, the ESC, it's important to note how I soldered the cables. Uh, so the main power lead was the first thing I soldered to the pad. Then after that, I soldered these 18 gauge wires extending from the capacitor on top of the battery wire. And then lastly, I soldered the uh, 26, 26 gauge? Yeah, 26 gauge wire going to both of the regulators. This wire feeds both of them, these two guys. I run the motor wires uh, from the inside over the top of the ESC in order to make it a lot more clean since we have this very narrow body. And with this particular ESC, the Acon 55 amp, it's such a long ESC, although it fits, um, it just made more sense to run the outer wire along the outside of the standoff. And I don't know, it looks kind of cool too. All right, that just about sums up the build overview. Um, if you want alternative parts or you want a list of parts, check out my rotor builds page for Pigeon 3.0. Um, be sure you don't look at the old version of the Pigeon because the new one has some updated findings regarding uh, motors and ESCs as well as flight controllers that are compatible with the Pigeon.